हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इजी शॉर्ट्स ऑफ लर्निंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंट्स एंड हाउ वी जनरलाइज दीज ट्रांजैक्शंस इन दिस अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वी टेक सम इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू जनरल एंट्रीज इन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंट्स सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट हियर सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक प्लीज राइट मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स our first example is the following transactions took place for the month of january enter these transactions in integrated books now we have to generalize these transactions in integrated accounting our first transaction is material purchased costing rupees 50000 now when the material is purchased it is increased in the store and debit what comes in so we debit store ledger control account and credit cash account because material is purchased in cash so our entry is stored ledger control account debit to cash account amounted to 50000 our next transaction is return to supplier now when the material is returned from the store to the supplier due to some due to material is in damaged condition or not up to the mark so in this case the material is transferred from the store so we credit stored ledger control account and here our entry for return to supplier is cash account debit to stored ledger control account and we return material costing rupees 6000 our next transaction is related with transfer from store to different departments now when the material is transferred whether it is direct material or it is indirect material in both the cases a store ledger control account is credited because credit what goes out and where the material is transferred that department is debited in case of direct material transfer to production we debit wip ledger control account and credit store ledger control account because material is transferred from the store amounted to 30000 rupees in our next transaction indirect material issued to production so in case of indirect material transferred to production we debit factory overhead control account and credit store ledger control account costing rupees 4000 now in our next transaction indirect material costing rupees 2000 is transferred to office so we debit office overhead control account to store ledger control account 2000 rupees our next transaction is indirect material is issued to selling department when the material is issued to selling department selling department is the receiver so we debit selling overhead control account and credit store ledger control account with the amount of 3000 rupees our next transaction is payment to creditors now creditors is our liabilities and when we pay liabilities the decrease in liabilities results in debit so here our entry is creditors account debit to cash account costing rupees 30000 our next example is related with payment of wages and charging of these wages to different departments where the employees or workers giving their services or where they work now when we pay wages wages is an expense and all the expenses are debited so in case of payment of wages or wages incurred our entry is wages control account debit to cash account amounted to 1 lakh 20000 rupees now when we charged wages wages are charged with that department where the workers are employed or giving their services in case of direct wages we give these wages to those workers that are directly related with production so we charge these wages to production department which is known as wip ledger control account so here our entry is wip ledger control account debit 
and we charge wages from production so we credit wages control account amounted to 70000 our next transaction is charging of indirect wages we give indirect wages to factory workers so we charge from factory overhead ledger control account so our entry is factory overhead control account debit to wages control account and we pay wages to factory workers amounted to 30000 when when we pay salary to selling staff we charge from selling department so here our entry is selling overhead or sorry selling overhead control account debit to wages control account with the amount of 5000 rupees in our last transaction where we pay salary to admin staff the wages is charged from admin department so here our entry is office and admin overhead control account debit to wages control account amounted to 15000 now in our next example it is related with overheads now in case of payment of overheads overhead is also an expense and all the overheads and expenses are debited so in case of payment or incurred of overheads our entry is factory overhead control account debit to cash account in case of payment of factory overhead amounted to 30000 when we pay office overhead our entry is office overhead control account debit to cash account in case of payment of office overhead amounted to 20000 and when we pay selling overhead our entry is also simple that is selling overhead control account debit because debit all the expenses and overheads and we pay selling overhead in cash so to cash account amounted to 10000 now when we recover or charge these overheads they are charged from different departments so first for understanding the entries of recovering or absorption of overheads first we have to understand this flow chart in cost books we have to open these accounts our first account is related with material that is stored ledger control account second account is related with payment of wages and charging these wages to different departments that is wages control account and third account is related with factory related expenses now the balances of these three accounts is transferred to production department which is also known as wip ledger control account here we open another account which is office and admin overhead control account and the balances of these two accounts is transferred to finish stock ledger control account and here we open our last account that is the selling and distribution ledger control account and the balances of these two accounts is transferred to cost of sales and the cost of sales and sales is transferred to costing pnl to find out profit in the cost books now when we charge these wages or when we charge these overheads first our factory overhead is charged from production department so here our entry is wip ledger control account debit to factory overhead control account in case of admin and office overhead they are charged from finish stock so our entry is finish stock ledger control account debit to admin overhead control account and our last overhead that is the selling overhead which is charged from cost of sales so in this case our entry is cost of sales account debit to selling overhead control account so when we charge the overheads they are charged from different departments so we debit that department or that ledger account and we credit the overhead account so in case of factory overhead our entry is wip ledger control account debit to factory overhead control account with the amount of 25000 our next overhead is 
office and admin overhead and it is recovered or absorbed from finished goods so her entry is finished stock ledger control account debit to office overhead control account with the amount of 22000 and our last overhead that is the selling overhead which is charged for recovered from cost of sales so here our entry is cost of sales account debit to selling overhead control account with the amount 7000 rupees our next example is related with all the entries that are very important for your examination purpose and these type of questions comes in your exam so our first entry is raw material purchase amounted to 40000 now when the material is purchased it is increased in the store so here our entry is store ledger control account debit and the material purchased in cash so to cash account and material purchase costing rupees 40000 our next entry where the material is transferred to production department which is known as wip ledger control account so here our entry is wip ledger control account debit to store ledger control account amounted to 30000 our next transaction is wages paid to workers and employees amounted to 24000 now wages is an expense and all the expenses are debited so here our entry is wages control account debit to cash account and we pay wages amounted to 24000 now in case of charging of wages indirect wages are charged from factory and direct wages is charged from wip ledger control account because it is it is paid to those workers that are directly related with production so in case of indirect wages our entry is factory overhead control account debit to wages control account amounted to 7200 and in case of direct wages they are charged from wip so our entry is wip ledger control account debit to wages control account amounted to 16800 now our next transaction is factory expenses paid Ex expenses are all debited so here our entry is factory overhead control account debit to cash account amounted to 19000 our next transaction is factory expenses charged to production now whether it is given in the question or not the factory expenses are charged or absorbed from the production department which is also known as wip ledger control account so here our entry for charging of factory expenses is wip ledger control account debit to factory overhead control account and the amount is 18400 our next transaction is selling overhead incurred or paid when we pay selling overhead expenses or and overheads are the um, are debited so here our entry is selling overhead control account debit to cash account and the amount is 4000 our next transaction is finished goods at cost now when the finished goods are transferred from finished stock ledger control account to cost of sales then one is the receiver and another one is the giver so in case of where the goods are transferred from finished goods to cost of sales we debit cost of sales because debit what comes in and credit finished stock ledger control account so in this case our entry is goods are transferred from finished goods to cost of sales so our entry is cost of sales account debit to finished goods yeah finished stock 
लेजर कंट्रोल अकाउंट एंड द गुड्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड कॉस्टिंग रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड अवर नेक्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शन इज सेल्स अमाउंटेड टू फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड नाउ सेल्स इज एन इनकम एंड ऑल द इनकम्स आर क्रेडिटेड सो हियर अवर एंट्री इज डेटर्स account debit because we assume that all the sales is on credit to sales account and sales is an income so we credit the sales with the amount of 58000 our next transaction is we received amount from debtors now in this case one asset is increased and another asset is decreased so cash is increased so we debit cash account and debtors are decreased because we receive amount from the debtors so here our entry is cash account debit to debtors account with the amount of 13800 sorry 13800 and our last transaction is payment to creditors now creditors is our liability and when the liability is decreased then we debit the liability so here our entry is creditors account debit to cash account and the amount is 22000 so friends in this video first we understand the example related with general entries of material our next example is payment of wages and charging of wages to different departments our third example is related with payment of overheads and charging or recovering of overheads and our last is an important example for your examination point of view So friends if you like this video please share this video and subscribe the channel thank you so much have a nice day